Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. Today I'm gonna do a comparison between all three of these Ninja Creamies. On the left, I got the Ninja Creamy Breeze. In the middle, I got the Ninja Creamy. And on the right, I got the Ninja Creamy Deluxe. So the way you make ice cream with all three of these is the same. You do have to make your ice cream mixture and then freeze it overnight into your pint jar. And then the next day you can make ice cream with it. So the Creamy Breeze, we're gonna press this button so the pint jar is what it's going to be mixed in, and the lid goes right on the pint jar. You've got this paddle wheel over here. We've got this container we're going to put the pint in. So you're going to take this off, open this up. The paddle wheel is held into this lid. Here's the pint jar for this one. You're going to freeze your ingredients. Then you're going to put it into this container, and then put the lid on, and then put it into the machine. So a few more parts and a few more steps with this one. Whereas this one, it, your, your mixture is gonna be in here. The paddle wheel goes right on top of it. And then you install this into the machine. Now the deluxe is like the creamy, except it's just on a bigger scale. So everything is bigger. Again, we've got this lid. And then you're gonna freeze your stuff the night before. And then you're gonna put it into here. Then you're gonna put the lid on. Again, these paddle wheels all come off, very simple. Now this is a bigger paddle wheel than this one and this one. These two have the exact same paddle wheel, but that's about all, that's all they have in common is the paddle wheel is the same size. So again, with the deluxe, then you're gonna come over here, put the lid on. Again, just everything's a little bit bigger. Rotate it, put it in the machine and turn it. So all three machines are 800 watts. There's the internals. They've all got that rod that comes down and drives that paddle wheel. Now the Creamy Breeze and the Ninja Creamy, they both have ice cream, milkshake, smoothie bowl, gelato, sorbet. And you can see they all have a power button, a mix-in, and re-spin. So these two are pretty much the same machine except for how they make the ice cream and what you put it in. Now with the Deluxe, we get a quite a few more features. I like that you can do frozen drinks. So for margaritas, this has got a coffee drink, a Cremacino, makes a really good one. We can decide if it's just gonna mix the top or the bottom. We also have mix-ins and re-spins, and it operates a little bit different, and it gives us a countdown clock. Now I do find when you're making like the frozen drinks or the slushies, you do need the bigger machine because you're going to be having some frozen part in here, and then you also have to add a little bit of liquid, and that's where this comes in handy, the bigger one for the deluxe. Okay, so none of the pint jars are interchangeable. So the, the uh, Breeze takes its own pint jar. It's got these ears on it for putting it in the machine. The Creamy, it's just got a smaller pint jar, and it is designed to go right into there. And the deluxe, these look the same, but they're just different size. And again, you cannot interchange. They all take a different pint jar. Now the Creamy Breeze and the Creamy, they hold the same amount. Again, just it's different. But you can see if I try to put the Breeze pint jar into this container, it just doesn't work. Whereas this one, it's designed to go in there. Okay, so let's make some ice cream with all three. Again, with the Breeze, it's very easy. Now I've already made this ice cream earlier, so I'm gonna put the paddle wheel, it just goes right on here. It's super simple how it goes on. The arrows should line up. I'm just going to do a remix in on this one, but this one is frozen. So I will make some fresh ice cream. Again, you put it in there, put the paddle wheel is on, line up these arrows, lock it. Then on the deluxe, same thing, put it in, grab the lid, line up the arrows and lock it. So you can see with the breeze, just, you know, about three or four less steps and about three less parts. Okay, the breeze, yeah, very simple. It's got these big ears. You just turn it till it locks. Ninja Creamy, you're gonna put it in there, rotate it, and same with the Lux, it slides in the front, and then rotate it. So they all have a, an install light. So if something's not installed right, the install light on this one will flash. Over here, this one, this little light will light up if something's not installed right, and same with over here. But if everything's installed right, these lights light up, meaning you're ready to go. So on the deluxe, I got like one more step. I got to pick full, rotate the knob, ice cream. Over here, I'm simply just going to hit the ice cream button and the ice, well, I'm going to do uh, mix in on this one. Or since it's already, I could do respin, but let's just do mix in, ice cream, and ice cream. 
Now, I do think the Ninja Creamy Breeze is the quietest of the three. There's the paddle wheel going down. They have a status bar going across, status bar, and a countdown clock. Okay, so the breeze is real easy. You're gonna hit the unlock button, rotate it out, and you simply take the paddle wheel cover off. It did a really good job making ice cream, and I've already got the mix-ins on this one. We'll have one more step to do on these two. Hit the release button, take the big jar off. Again, the paddle wheel is installed. So I would, so on the creamy, and this holds true for all three, I would make a hole down the middle, and then I would take my mix-ins, and I would just break them up just a little bit, like in about halves, stuff them down the middle, put it back in, and hit the mix-in button. Let's go over here to the deluxe. Again, it did a really good job, just a, on a little bit bigger scale. Now see how it's nice, it's crumbly like that. That means your mixture was really frozen really hard. So if it's crumbly like that, you would do a respin. And we can do respin on all three. That makes it kind of a smoother texture that mimics ice cream better. Okay, so there's even one more creamy. It's, be, it's harder to find. Walmart sells one like this one, but it has two less buttons and it retails for about 150. The original Ninja Creamy, it's retailing for around 200, 170, somewhere around. It comes in different colors. The Deluxe, the Deluxe retails for 250. It's kind of hard to find. I will put links to all three of these under the show description notes. Now I am a Ninja affiliate. Um, I'll put a link to their website. Sometimes you can find, I do find, I find better prices on the Ninja website. So if you click on that link, I do get a commission from the sale, but the product won't cost you anymore. I bought these products with my own money. This is a way of supporting my channel. So I really do prefer this Ninja Creamy Breeze. This is just, they, they've, they've really figured this out. You know, they've eliminated about three parts. Very simple to operate. It takes up less of a footprint. I do think it's a little bit quieter. This one is a pretty big machine. When we do a side comparison, we can see, you know, the Deluxe, I like it. It's bigger, but I do like it. And around back, you can see, yeah, they've really eliminated a lot of stuff on here. The Breeze even has suction cups. So on the underneath here, there's two suction cups to help hold it. I do find the deluxe, if you're into frozen drinks, margaritas, slushies, you know, these will do milkshakes also. But I do find that I need the bigger quantity when I want to add my liquids. And, it, and it's kind of set up for you. It's got two different lines, the frozen part, the liquid part. So the deluxe is really designed for the frozen drinks. It makes delicious margaritas and frozen. Uh, this Cremacino, this coffee drink is absolutely delicious, made with coffee. You know, these Ninja Creamies, they're just great for ice cream, sorbet. Um, that's what I mainly use them for, and they do a great job. But they're just so easy to operate. The mix-ins work really well. And again, the best part about this is, so you don't eat all the ice cream. You throw the lid back on it. You put it in the freezer. You get it out the next day. Okay, I got to do a little bit of work, but now I just take the lid off. Put my lid on after it's clean, of course. And then you put it back in the machine, and you can do a hit ice cream again, and it'll make it into ice cream again. That's the really neat part about this is how you're just able, you know, less items and less mess. And the cleanup is so simple. All of these, I can put all of these parts in the dishwasher, the paddle wheel, the lid, the pints, even the pint holder I can put in the dishwasher. Ninja really makes cleanup very easy. But if you can find a good deal on the original Ninja Creamy, you know, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just a little bit bigger, a few more steps. There's all kinds. You can get extra pint jars out there. I haven't seen the extra ones for this one, but I'm almost positive there's going to be some soon. Um, there, so when you got extra pint jars, mix up your stuff ahead of time, and that way you're ready to go for the next day. Underneath the video, if you could give it a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. Again, I really appreciate everybody's support. Also, underneath the video, if you could hit the subscribe button. Anytime Ninja releases a new product, even Ninja uh, Clean, I mean, Shark Clean, which is vacuum cleaners, or Ninja Kitchen. When they release a new product, I get it. I do a review. I give it kind of a real-world review. I use it. So underneath the video, there is a subscribe button. I really appreciate it. if you could hit that. That really helps out my YouTube channel also. Again, thanks, everybody, for your support. And if you could, please like and subscribe. And thanks for watching.